All right, hey everyone, welcome to the Artwatch channel, the program where we train our creative muscles on a daily basis. Now, the topic of this video, what I want to share with you today is something called form wrapping, something you probably haven't heard about before uh, or rarely, but what it kind of implies is where we learn to form more complex things around a simple object. Now, the premise of this is quite easy. We do it because we try to enhance our understanding of complex forms. When we talk about form wrapping, what we're essentially doing is we're taking simple primitive forms forms and we're wrapping more complex shapes around them almost essentially as if we're wrapping a blanket around a certain object that's literally what we're doing in this technique now the reason this is great is because it highly enhances your spatial awareness when it comes to complex forms sometimes it is really hard for an artist to understand when they look at a piece of reference and we're going to pick armor as our reference for now it can be really daunting to look at a piece of reference and armor and try to distill how this would look in a certain angle. And we all know that it's very hard to find the right reference for the specific angle that you're drawing your illustration or your character for. And this is where your understanding of spatial awareness and form manipulation really comes in handy. So the, the three things you really need to master in order to understand this video and this technique better is of course drawing simple form contour manipulation which i talk about a lot in the proco video when it comes to six steps to drawing anything or the beginner scores that we have on the art what program and then form wrapping so essentially what you're doing with this form wrapping technique is you start by drawing a couple of primitives and you treat them as if they are glass or made up of glass now, the reason we do this is because we want to be able to draw through the form and see the objects on the other side as well. When we've created these glass objects, we are now wrapping more organic, random shapes around them. When you're doing this for the first time, don't try to make anything that looks like a real believable object. Just do random shapes, but try to follow the contour around which you are wrapping something, right? Try to follow it through, try to draw it through on the other side, just to see if you can really follow these simple forms that you've established yourself. So to give you a good example, what I mean is you could look at an armor piece like a chest plate, and what you first would need to do is you would need to look at what this chest plate encompasses. So what would be the most rudimentary shape that this chest piece can encompass? When you've established that simple form, you will now think about how you're going to manipulate the cross section or the contour to come up with something that fairly resembles the total volume this chest plate takes. When you have that, then you can start wrapping the detail around what you see in the reference. And this basically gets you somewhat to the resulting form or object that you see in your reference. And armor is a great piece of reference to do this with. You can do this with all kinds of armor. You can do it with helmets, with gauntlets, anything that basically makes up an armor is very easy to understand and to apply this technique to. You can apply it to many different other things, but one of these hard surface things like armor is a really good one to get you started. Think about these techniques when you establish a simple form, when you then manipulate that simple form and then you wrap things around it. Now, the reason this is important is because you wanna be able to look at something, look at a reference and really understand what you're looking at, but also that you can repurpose it and reconstruct it in a different angle. And that's a mistake I often see beginners make is they try to already establish the complex form that they see in the reference and they try to then reinterpret that in a different angle or tr try to project it onto their characters, onto their concept art, doesn't really matter. But what you should try and do, you should try and really understand what it is that you're looking at in its most simple rudimentary form, how that form can be manipulated and then how you can wrap around that object to make up the thing that it really encompasses. 
Now, this is a lot to wrap your head around, and I know it's not easy to understand this from the get go. And I just have this brief bullet point for you in this video. But if you want to have more explanation on this, I highly advise you to check out the classroom session that we have on the ArtWalk program, where I talk about it in length about how you can use this form wrapping technique to your advantage to get better at your spatial understanding, spatial awareness, and your design technique in general. Because what's really great about this is once you understand how this works for believable existing objects, you can then apply it to your imaginary objects and designs as well. So I hope you enjoyed me talking about this technique called form wrapping. Again, if you want to know more about it, head over to our website, artwhat.com, where I talk about this specific technique in length in a one hour classroom. All right. So I hope to see you there and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye, guys.